this is the new Whitbox Go. Uh, it's a uh, fairly standard FDM printer, but it's a printer that you would actually have in your living room. Uh, most 3D printers, as you know, uh, look perfect in the workshop or the shed. Um, but they're not really likely to feature in Vogue Interiors or Hello Magazine. So basically, as somebody said to me, if Apple made a 3D printer, it would probably look something like this. So it actually has a styling which is kind of cool and up-to-date and modern. On top of that, um, it has an Android smartphone brain. BQ are also major manufacturers of tablets and smartphones. So they looked at their parts bin and thought, do you know what? What would happen if instead of an Arduino-based board, we put in a full uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor with four gig of memory <laughs> and enough power to give us virtually infinite upgrades? And this is the result. They've focused a lot on quiet. So it's very quiet in operation. Um, it has sensors. So it actually has uh, an anti-clogging sensor, temperature-based sensor, uh, pause and restart functionality, which basically adds up to print it while you dream, i.e. it's designed to be a safe overnight printer in the domestic context. But when I was on my training uh, with, with BQ in Madrid, um, uh, I was chatting with the other guys and two of them had young families. Uh, the guy from El Salvador and the guy from Croatia, and they were talking to each other. And they said, do you know how I get my kids to go to sleep? I get them to choose an item, and I say, if you're really good and quiet, when you wake up, it'll be there. And the other guy said, I'm doing the same thing. And I'm looking at it going, and this was in the days of early producers, and they were not quiet. <laughs> and consequently, I stored this as a thought, but thought, yeah, it's not for now. But when the BQ came forward with the machine that's so quiet in operation, it woke up all those thoughts and thought, well, right, what's the, what's the benefit? <laughs> so Zowie comes out of the box like this, but he's the first robot I've ever come across which actually has assembly and dismantling instructions. In the box are the tools that take him apart. Because the idea is that once you've had Zowie a while, you think, hmm, I could improve on this. And that's when you get into CAD solutions and making accessories for, for him in the first instance, and then changing the bodywork. And um, if you give that job to, uh, to guys who are technically adept, shall we say, uh, guess what they do? Because they produce Iron Man Zowie, uh, or they produce um, Fighting Robot Zowie. But actually, the programmable interface that allows you to um, give routines for him is the same that's actually driving the base level Zowie. So the sequence is, you print a print, you make it your own, you make it yourself, and then you make it live. 